Let's look at some of the titles as we discuss backwards compatibility. In the world of physical media, we love backwards compatibility. Your DVD players play CDs, your Blu-ray players play DVDs, and so in the world of video games, we see a lot of different backwards compatibility. Early on, we saw the Atari 7800 supported the Atari 2600. The Sega Genesis had the add-on attachment to play the Sega Master System games. Many of Nintendo's handheld systems all supported each other from the Game Boy Color playing Game Boy games, the Game Boy Advance playing Game Boy Color and Game Boy, the DS played Game Boy Advance, and the 3DS played the DS games. In modern consoles, we saw the PS2 played PS1 games, and initial launches of the PS3 had built-in PS2 players in them. However, that was very costly, and Sony quickly abandoned the idea of removing the PS2 capabilities from the PS3. However, all PS3s still play PlayStation 1 games.